And we started talking as his partner was doing business with my boss. We started discussing farming, you know, and I didn't tell him about my experience with the Grand Solar Minimum. I just asked him some basic questions and, you know, telling me that they had to switch their uh, crops to, they were growing alfalfa hay now, they're not growing corn and soybean like they used to. Um, that the, the crops are extreme, they're, they're suffering everywhere, not just here in New York, but all over the country. And I just kind of um, played stupid with him. And I looked at him, I said, hey, if we keep getting seasons like we get this, like we've had this year, if the weather continu continues to act funny, you know, the seasons, basically the integrity of all of our seasons right now, I think are out of whack. Uh, I don't, I haven't seen a normal uh, climate season so far. I don't think anyway, in my part of the woods, it, to me, it's been off. It's been above average, below average. It's not been normal though. But back to what I'm saying, I asked him, I said, if we continue to see this, maybe next year, or what if we see it in the next two years, what, are, what, what's our status? What's our situation? He looked at me and laughed, and, and I'm not going to say the word he said, but he goes, we're already bleak. It doesn't matter what it's going to do next year or the year after that. We're already bleak. There is so much money right now being lost in farming all over the United States but especially up here in, in upstate New York and Western New York as well. But this farmer, he wasn't joking with me. He wasn't trying to be dramatic. We were having a nice lighthearted conversation. And then I threw that at the end. He just looked at me dead face and said, oh, we're already, you know what? We're already screwed is what he was saying. Fucking liar. The jury is still out just what the yields are going to be this year. There hasn't been really that much harvesting done. I did pick up from a customer base from Springfield, Illinois to the south. Yields coming in at about seven to 11 bushels below last year's, but remember last year's was record yield. Sure, sure. As you move further, but remember last year's was record yield. Sure, sure. As you move further, record yield. Sure, sure. As you <laughs> south towards the, towards the river down into Kentucky, Tennessee, Yields on corn were actually have been quite good, but of course it takes 24 it takes 24 Mississippi's to equal the corn production of, of Iowa. So you right. gotta we gotta watch what's coming out of Adds Iowa, Illinois, this year's Indiana, Ohio. Wheat crop. Walt adds that he is averaging 65 to 85 bushels an acre on his rocky soils and expects to see a 30 to 40 bushel an acre increase on his richer soil. In addition to spring wheat and hay. The sales family also grows potatoes. So spuds, we're, we're still, you know, we're on probably two. Okay, guys, you know, whatever.